Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in February of this year, I posted a video showing you what to do and a couple of things you could try if your caps lock key is stuck on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. But I thought today just to kind of do a sequel to that and show you what to do if your Windows key is not working on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And as many of you will know, your Windows key, which is found to the left of your space bar between the function and alt keys, um, as the name implies, um, opens up the start menu. So that's a quick shortcut, the Windows key to open and close the start menu and also has a couple of other functions, as you may well know. So if your Windows key is not working, just a couple of ways to solve any issues regarding that. Now, you can follow the steps in this video for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 because it is a very similar process. And the first thing to do is to check if your sticky keys and filter keys settings are um, turned on because if they are, it can affect how you type on your keyboard and this could also impact the Windows key. Now, on Windows 11, we would head to our settings. The same would apply to Windows 10. On Windows 11, we head over to Accessibility. In Windows 10, that would be Ease of Access. And then you would look for Keyboard. And yeah, you would check if Sticky Keys is turned off and Filter Keys is turned off. So that's the first thing you can try. And then after that, if that still doesn't work, then something else you can try is you can try update or reinstall the keyboard drivers. And for this, we'll have to head over to the legacy device manager. So the easiest to do this would be just to right click on your start menu, head up to device manager. This will open up the legacy device manager. You would then head to your keyboards, expand that and then double click on your keyboard. And yeah, you'll see driver and then you would click update driver and click on the relevant option and follow the prompts. And if that doesn't work, then something else you can try do, which I would actually suggest first of all, before uh, checking for driver updates, if that doesn't work, you can try uninstalling the device and then restart your PC. And then when the PC restarts, um, the driver will reinstall automatically. So to uninstall that, you'll just right click on there, click on uninstall, follow the prompts, and then you'd have to restart your device. And then if that doesn't work, then something else you can do is you can try disabling gaming mode because it can cause the Windows key to malfunction because of gaming mode settings. So in Windows 11, we'd head back to our settings and the same would apply to Windows 10. You'd click on gaming and then yeah, you'll see gaming mode. Make sure that's off. If that could be impacting your Windows key. And then Something else you can do, um, and last but not least, is you can run the keyboard troubleshooter to detect and fix any issues as a lot as a last resort. So um, the easiest way to do this on both OSs is, is just to head up to your settings, your, your settings uh, search, and just type in keyboard. Yeah, you'll see it'll say find and fix keyboard problems. It'll be exactly the same in Windows 10 and Windows 11. You would click on that, click on next, follow the prompts. And if that finds any problems then and detects any issues, then it will obviously try and fix those for you. And that you can do kind of as a last resort. And then obviously, if there is uh, something mechanically wrong with your keyboard, maybe that button is actually physically broken on the keyboard, then obviously, you would have to get that repaired or replace your keyboard. And it's just one last thing to take note of. If Windows, if the Windows key works in some apps but not others, um, this might be because of settings in the app itself or the actual software. So then you would have to go into the settings of that app and software and then just see if there's something you can fiddle around with in those settings. So that's just a quick way, as mentioned, how you can check to see and fix the Windows key not working on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.